thanks vayur for joining us today uh, we we wanted to speak to you about a lot of the interesting stuff that oyo has been doing uh, this is with regards to uh, interesting campaigns that have come up in particular uh, you mentioned uh, in the past print campaigns so we're going to be chatting about that and also other interesting things that brand oyo has been doing in india to begin with uh, you have been working earlier with agencies and then you transitioned to join oyo how different has uh, working with oyo been over agencies yeah thanks rahel for having me we've been talking uh, about all the stuff we keep doing and i've been wondering why campaign only shows films <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly <laughs> that um but yeah i think uh, the major difference uh, between being in an agency uh, and being on what we call the brand side of things is that uh, there you use creativity to solve marketing problems in a nutshell you yeah. and there are issues to be dealt with and so on uh, here we use creativity to solve business or product problems or indeed service problems and then we go out there and and use marketing to go and communicate them. so creativity as such gets applied a lot more earlier in and all we call upstream okay and we can talk more in detail about the kinds of things we we actually come up with which then right. we work with like as many as 13 functions to help implement because without their help we can do nothing uh, and and like that we go to town with it also um so some of the campaigns that you've released i know you spoke more so about uh, you all wanting to do print campaigns but this is something that i'm going to be talking about is a film campaign you launched one uh, just i think in about march featuring neena gupta and a month later again uh, the covid cases were on the rise and the lockdown was reintroduced things like this how do they affect this the strategy of a campaign yeah look i mean um, the relationship campaign as we call it uh, was done for february in particular it just had a little bit of a spill over into march so we we were sort of done with it uh, it had done its run uh, by the time the pandemic came so didn't really affect that um, but you know as i often say you know we are we are working across geographies and as such uh, we never really switched off or or impacted in the way that we might be if we were only working on one geography right so as such right. you know when one thing tails off there's something else going on somewhere else so yeah never a dull moment frankly in oyo so yeah didn't really get impacted campaign wise but yeah right but no the whole travel industry if you see uh, i mean first obviously there was the lockdown that came up and then uh, then things started opening up then again when things were opening up cases were on the rise and there was a second lockdown that happened so how do you you know prepare for something like this and now now that we're talking about things opening up again there's news of a third wave coming so how can a brand like oyo which is in the travel industry prepare for something like this yeah look like you know you right i mean one there's the there's the roller coaster you're on which is oyo and then there's a roller coaster uh, on top of which which is the pandemic now and we're all right to it, right uh and look um, i'll i'll give you an example like when india uh, is going through what it is going through on the other hand we have the us and the uk which are opening up big time right, right. Uh, in in terms of the kind of uh, occupancy we have over there and so on we're almost at pre pandemic levels if not beyond that in some cases Right. Here we have a large vacation home business in is uh, is booming right now in a lot of countries right we may right. not have as many uh, holiday and homes as as people want to go out so so as such you know you're always doing something else somewhere else right and while yes there's a bit of a roller coaster going on in the country you're based in which a lot of us are in india uh, but equally uh, one you're doing work for other geographies and two you're doing work Um, for India, which again we can talk in in greater detail, which is to help people, right? And right. as you're communicating that, right? And one of the things that Ritesh decided right when Wave Two struck, particularly in Wave One, mm-hmm. well, we had worked with Vande Bharat, etc. Right. So then donate a night, which allowed for people to donate rooms. Uh, right. In Wave Two, we got on to um, almost uh, an NGO type agenda, to be really honest. And uh, a lot of our work, fundraisers. or indeed working with corporates etc allow you know needed for us to communicate so i actually think that we're actually busier in these times okay. than right. when, when we follow the normal marketing calendar which is a bit more sorted so right. the whole analogy of roller coasters 
Right, you spoke about US and UK uh, being markets where y'all were looking to do work in when India was in a lockdown. How much of your mandate? It says obviously you have a global mandate. How much of your mandate would be India versus how much would it be globally? So I, our our team works across uh, the globe, barring right. the Asian home business, which does have its own small team. Right. Uh, uh, India does tend to invest more into campaigns, traditional okay. campaigns that you see as such. Uh, right. Where geographies rely more on social media, CRM, etc., because they are at different stages of growth. India right. is at a stage of growth where it does need to invest more. So, as okay. the more visible work, uh, right. traditional marketing might be done uh, a lot more in India, but the other channels, which are OEO own channels, continue right. to go, to need work, uh, and we and we do it across other geographies: so Southeast Asia, India, of course, and uh, the US, UK. Right. Uh, this is again India specific. So when you're looking now, people are obviously looking to travel, but they're looking to, uh, you know, book villas rather than hotels. Yeah. Even though safety protocols are being followed by hotels, so what can you know hotels do to gain the consumers' trust right now? In terms of saying how safe they are, in terms of getting them to you know travel to hotels again, what do you think they can do? Right. Um, so you know we have a big uh, oil home business in, in India as well, which a lot of our customers right. use. Uh, you can book a whole home. In addition to which, uh, here's where we we get to apply, you know, creativity to business uh, or service problems. You know. Last year, we we came up with sanitize before your eyes uh, because we quickly realized after launching sanitize days that faith in budget hotels and uh, and and sanitation hygiene etc. was really low. So, question you know, of ourselves, if if we could take five minutes and spray, you know. High touch surfaces with a disinfectant before the guest's eyes. You know, so it added five minutes wait time, but worth those five minutes, frankly, right? Uh, right. Basically, it's it's super complex to do it across thousands of hotels. Right. Uh, to train the staff, uh, you need to uh, you need to have this on your app so that uh, a guest can make uh, make use of this option, book this, etc. Right. Uh, but we did it. Uh, super successful in in how it went. Uh, and until the end of last year, uh, we had great results with it, and we continue to offer that as an option. This year, uh, of course, with vaccination uh, taking precedence over everything else, the nice. uh, uh, listing on the app that we we again offer to both, and we we think both for for our owners, which is hotel owners, and for our guests, right. We right. offer it as an option to for them to opt in so that they can be listed as such. And of course, the guests get to make that choice of choosing a vaccinated property which has vaccinated staff. Right. So, I mean, basically, both of these seem to be common sense solutions to problems that people face. Right. You, you know, as a team, you're you're able to to input into this stuff, and right. then, you know, with the help of uh, as many as 13 functions, get it going really, really quick. Which we did with vaccinate was up in three weeks flat. So. Right. That's very pretty rewarding to be honest. Right, and how how much how many of these hotels would be actually having staff for people who who are fully vaccinated right now? At last count, we had over thousand hotels that we are uh, listing under the vaccinate uh, tag. Right now, it would have grown, but uh, we'll officially list that number when we cross the next, next milestone, course. basically. Right, but this would be both the doses given to your staff members, right? We start off by listing the first dose. Okay. The second dose has also been given. Okay. Another thing that I wanted to speak to you about was a lot of uh, brands have been saying, a uh, lot of brand heads have been saying that we continue spending right now, not to see immediate sa- sales, but to you know do brand building right now. Do you think this is actually a time of brand building, or sales can also be made, especially for an industry such as yours? Look, I think um, there are a lot of brands which can do. Uh, you know, if they have deep pockets, they can certainly do that, and it's a good time to build brand as long as you have something relevant to say. Right. Uh, be careful with our spends uh, uh, at normal times, and and in times of crisis like this, to be honest, we'd be even more careful, right? Uh, right. We do have a big following uh, and a la- and a wide audience. We're able to reach our own channel, right? With our social channels, with CRM, our app is on millions and millions of. People. Phones, so as such, we're able to reach people and communicate with them without actually spending a lot of money. Uh, right. Two, you know, as I said uh, before in, uh, in our chat, that helping people is something that we took a conscious call of doing last year, of course, but this year even more so, right? Uh, so helping cor- corporates getting their staff quarantined, you know, helping normal people quarantine, uh, running fundraisers, 
for entrepreneurs who work with oil and indeed for doctors for you for example is something that we've also done and as such right. you're actually communicating about all of this because you have to put the word out there to be able to help people or to get uh, funds raised etc so i think uh, in the process if we build or and indeed vaccinate which i've mentioned which is you know getting staff vaccinate listing it and then going out there and talking about it which is uh, the right thing to do in the process if we building brand um it's it's is good it won't complain but not setting yeah. out to build brand in this period frankly as i said uh, setting out to help as many people as we could we glad that we were able to help you right coming to the point of discussion is the spread and um, while a lot of the brands and companies are doing print ads no one's really talking about them because they're not as creative as they used to be you for instance wanted to talk to me specifically about print but given the perception that young india is not reading print print sales are falling what what's the whole strategy behind going the print route i think uh, you know this it's it's simple you know we have uh, we're one of those brands which has like huge like a huge perception already about it right Uh, this is a brand for young people this is a brand uh, which a lot of couples use etc and at best the other the only other thing you might think of is it's a brand used by the sales force right a lot of smes etc yes now we know for a fact that our audience is way more diverse than this right we know for a fact that if we were to use print and our our strategy or our secret sauce as steffi calls it uh, with with press is to to go from paper to pixels right so we start from paper Whereas a lot of brands might well consider, hey, I need to I need to go straight onto pixels digital and use use that channel because, gee, my audience is already over there. But like I said, it's a it's a it's a far more widespread audience. Right? So the older, uh, more um, how should I call, older set who still read newspapers, right. um, people we are able to reach via press and we use right. both, and then we make sure that it travels from press to social. by the end of being creative right so we'll we'll of course we'll have our fingers crossed and hope it organically happens and is picked up etc and a lot of it gets picked up simply because of the nature of work we try and uh, seed in press i know seed is worse to to use with press but we we'll literally seeding on paper to uh, hoping for it to go on pixels and cover right. the audience But a lot of the print campaigns are really innovative. I went through the whole deck that you all shared as well. It's not something which the older generation probably would connect with. Would that be something that you would agree? Yeah, it depends on the the nature of work. So, for instance, if it's um, you know the whole hockey and a kara, for instance, being used as coupon codes, that yes. is really, yeah, that's you know very social like e-commerce long language, right? So yes, it is. Like I said, it is for an audience which may well be sitting uh, on social. but right. it doesn't hurt for us for a, for an older audience as well to get that vibe uh, you right. know may or may not you know get it completely but i do believe that it's worth uh, worth the effort to have uh, both sets of audiences addressed and also right. get full perception of you know you being only for one set really uh, you know like i said data tells us about Understood. Want to just conclude with what are the challenges that uh, the industry faces? Obviously, the pandemic is one. Other than that, what what do you think would be the challenges that uh, the whole category faces just now? I think uh, you know naturally people are worried, and as they should be, people really should only be stepping out for uh, what they absolutely must do. You know, we see droves of people uh, taking a vacation. Revenge tourism is back, uh, and and. while while as long as they do it safely it's fine i think in general the category will continue to suffer from the fact that people are worried about stepping out right and and reassuring people as we are doing or trying to do with vaccinate for instance is something that everyone will need to think about because you know this is airborne you need to address this quite squarely uh and and that's our attempt at this point so but we glad to see people are 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 stepping out a little bit more uh we hope they're being careful and we on our part are trying for our staff to be super careful in terms of vaccination thanks a lot for your time mayur thanks for hope to me. catch up with you soon again is in real life at some point hopefully have a good one bye yeah, see you